From the home of the Bills since way back in 1973, there's a look at Highmark Stadium just outside of Buffalo, New York. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Snowhawks of Toronto taking on the Buffalo Bills. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. target and that'll bring up second down but you look at this defense they find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top 10 defending the pass number 12 in the league oh allen cannot get away and down he goes christian barmore getting in there to drop him all right partner i'm gonna be captain obvious right here not the start you're looking for offensively right Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay and then breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that falls incomplete. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten at their 38. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Partner, is that what you call a quick hitter? That was actually a bolt of lightning, wasn't it? Right out of the gate. And, of course, on the heels of him winning AFC Offensive Player of the Week one week ago. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays, and what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run. He taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, this defense for the Bills, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And they needed to be because the game was a game we don't see very often anymore. Low scoring, slugging it out in the trenches. One play can make the difference type of a game, and each play took on more importance, and they got it done. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Snowhawks have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a seven nothing game. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. 
And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. On second down, Cook, and he stopped immediately there. Here now, third and a yard. Here's Allen to throw it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Allen. Throw right side, pulled in by Higgins. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Cook up the gut. A little juke. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. The Bulls at 2-0 here to begin the season. They come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. They run it again with Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From midfield, here's Allen. Complete, Smith has it. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. To throw, it's Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have the Bills first down. And so wind up getting close to 10 yards there. They only needed one on fourth and one. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. It's complete to Cook. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 33 yards that time. They'll run with Cook. And he takes it in across the track for a Bills touchdown. James Cook, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. 
And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one ups and shift going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Second and nine now. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. He's fresh off that three-touchdown performance last week that got him AFC Offensive Player of the Week. So you know that he was already on their radar. Now he's maybe even a bigger plane on their radar. <laughs> bigger plane. I mean, he is the big dot on that screen that they're looking at and saying, how in the heck do we stop him? They're going to try a bunch of different things, different people covering him. But right now, he's locked in and is in sync with his quarterback. And to find the open man. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A big gain of 31 on third down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Second and eight coming from the 19. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held, it goes incomplete. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. They'll set up a throw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. And his kick is indeed good, and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the... Taking it right down Broadway. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now the touchback's coming back to the 25 instead of the 20. When guys fielded that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 14-10. to 10. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped it to 17.
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. He's to the 10, and he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Extra point safely through, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. A throw over the middle, taken in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From just shy of midfield, here's second down at seven. They'll drop to throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And they're going to set up shot at the 49 line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight, but not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game telling all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I get scared. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Allen looks to throw on second down. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw. Allen. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And the lead grows to 14, a 24 to 10. They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. 
a winning recipe if they can keep this up. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll look to throw here. Going up top. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. He'll look to throw. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left them no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 19 tight, 19 tight. Back to throw here. And he's got his man on the out route. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Now a handoff as they run left side. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. I 
Manning, who put together a job description for a middle linebacker. We would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Second and seven. They'll set up to throw. That's into the hands of Reynolds. They'll give him four yards there. And this will wind up being a third and three. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown. Kayshawn Boutte. 31 yards. And the Snowhawks have got it back to within a score. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. They'll look to throw. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead down to a single point. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. He will return this from deep in and all deep in his own territory. He coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Second and nine. To the air, Allen. Quick slant here to Smith. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. And a quick slant gets exactly 10. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On play action, Allen. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Third and two. Up the middle they go. Calhoun. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Defensively, we always know that he can run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. So that challenge not successful there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 15. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. A run there with Cook on first down, but it won't net him much, maybe a yard. Second down coming up. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's Cook again. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The offense on third down tonight. Just one for five to this point. This is third and nine. Now Allen. That's caught. Kincaid for the Bulls touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Bills get an important score there to extend their lead here this fourth quarter. The extra point splits the uprights. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Dancing to his left. And he 
he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting him with a sack, and it brings up third down. Now they need two. Here's third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Hasn't had his best game running the football here tonight, but hey, that's a critical spot right there to convert on third down, and he did it. And the lights are shining just a little bit brighter right now, aren't they? You remember the beginning of the game? If he gets this first down, everybody's happy. That's cool. But here, that was critical, and it really energizes him. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the 15-yard line. Allen off the play fake, sliding out of the pocket. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This from 32 yards away. And his kick is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to solve one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game is in their favor. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. A big play there. 77 yards. And the Snowhawks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Bills take over at first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy they run again on first down cook and he'll get this up to about the 40 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. This is first and ten. And now here's a carry hitting left. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here comes second down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space. Let them do what they do. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now first and goal. They'll look to throw. And he is in as they have tied it late here in the final minute of the fourth quarter. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's first and ten. Allen. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Throwing Allen. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Ah, oh, they took a big shot, just trying to get within sight of field goal range. 
But that was not to be, and now the task gets more difficult because you're looking at maybe two more plays here to give your kicker a chance. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Room here to run. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's a give up the middle. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one, and in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So for Toronto, their end of the win column now is a...